Alrighty, so I'm coming up to 5,000 Ks on the CB125F. And so far I've been doing all the maintenance and servicing myself, as it should be. One of the most difficult things I've had to deal with is the fact that according to Honda Australia, this model of motorbike doesn't exist. Uh, Honda doesn't even have the user manual up online, even though they sent me a link saying, get your manual here. And the model doesn't list up in uh, any, any parts lists. Um, so when it came time to doing the first 1000 kilometer service, I wanted to change the oil filter. Now, even following the service manual uh, from Honda, they don't recommend you need to change it until 15,000 kilometers. Uh, but I wanted to change it anyway. Uh, so I went to my local bike shop and uh, they gave me that. It's a KNN KN116 filter, which it looked like it was the same size as the other one. I don't know if you can see there. I'll try and get that to focus. Do you see how I've crushed the pleating? Um, I'll put a clip in of me trying to put that in. That's not quite a good fit. Why isn't that fitting? Um, but this filter looked to be the exact same size as the one that came out of the motorbike. So after this one didn't fit, I got in contact with my nearest Honda dealer, which is 45 minutes away. And I said, look, I can't find this filter anywhere. Can you order it for me? Yep, no worries. Uh, it had taken them three months to get that part in. And in that time, I thought, they can't get it in either. They've, they've lost it. Uh, so I went and I ordered this one, which is a RMC 140, apparently, whatever the hell that means to you. But that is apparently the filter that goes in the uh, Trail 125 and the Cub, you know, the both 2022, 2023 models. And again, they look to be the same filter. Like they really do look the same size. You can't really tell just by looking what the difference is. Uh, so then Honda finally, it's still in the bag, still new. This is the, uh, the proper filter that I ordered from Honda that took three months to get in. God knows where they ordered it from. All right, so we've got Genuine Honda uh, oil filter. We've got the no-name brand one that fits the Trail 125 and the Cub. And then we've got the KN116, which was provided by my local shop. All right, and if you look closely, you may already figure out what the problem is. Honda, no-name Honda, KNN116. They all look to be pretty much the same size. And you know what, you can even stack them up like this. They seem the same width as well. It is absolutely crazy to me that these two filters that are so close in size, just this one just would not fit. I wanna find out why this KN116 didn't fit the bike. And again, I'll show you the crushed pleating. It's still a little bit oily. Now, I wanna say that I never even started the bike with that filter in. Um, I made the decision to pull that out and put the stock filter back in because it had only done a thousand Ks. The only reason I wanted to change it was because of the risk of, you know, shit 
filings, whatever you want to call it, that could have been in the first load of oil. Um, but I'm going to change it at the 5000k service. Make sure that's zeroed. The stock Honda one is coming in at 34.2. Or 34 mil. We're going to call that 34 mil just to allow for minor differences in you know the measurements each time now the stock one that i bought that fits the trail is coming in again at 33 point 33.7 or 33.8 so again we can safely round that up to to 34 mil now obviously that's just taking it from the case so now i'm going to get a measurement across uh, the middle as well, because that's also a consideration. All right, so taking it straight across the middle, the stock Honda one is, we're gonna round that up to 36 mil. Zero. KNN 116. Again, you can safely round that up to 36 mil. And the generic bog stock one that fits the trail 125 comes in about half a mil shorter. Um, now, it's not the, the length or the height of the uh, the filters. The difference I think is, I don't even know if you'll be able to see, but can you see that ridge around the edge of the KN116? There is no ridge on the stock Honda one. The stock Honda filter comes in at a width of 38 mil even. The KN116 has come in at 40 mil. A two mil difference, and it's surprising because when you, you hold them up like this, you really can't eyeball any difference. But what it is, is that, that ridge that you can see around the edge here. That's the reason, the only reason the KN116 won't fit the CB125. And obviously the, the proper Honda one is going to fit, is that there is no ridge on the top there. And neither is there a ridge on the one that fits the trail. Which again comes in at 38 mil. So in conclusion, I can say that if you've got the CB125F and you are struggling to find a matching or even a generic filter, uh, you can definitely order the ones that fit the Trail 125 and the Cub. Having said that, ordering this online was $20. When this finally came in from Honda, it was worth the wait. They charge me just over three dollars for this thing, which <laughs> I think they charge me their cost price instead of you know adding on their markup. But who's complaining about that? A three dollar filter that is definitely going to fit. I cannot believe that that little lip added two mil to the overall width. Um, as you can see there, it is not worth risking your filter or anything getting through or anything getting blocked up by jamming a filter in that doesn't fit. So when I when it comes time for me to do that 5,000 kilometer serviced, I'll be throwing in the $3 filter and trusting that it's gonna last for another 15,000 Ks. Um, worst case scenario is I've got this one sitting on standby. Got two filters ready to go. We'll see you in the next one.